Hey guys, Jonathan Wolf 38 here, back with more Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Last time we finished up Mad Monster Mansion, and this time we'll be taking on Rusty Bucket Bay. Okay. Well, let's head on inside. We're gonna have to dive underwater, but it is not an underwater level. That's all about that water level switch that we were dealing with before. Okay, so here we are, Rusty Bucket Bay. Um, named as such because the ship is called the Rusty Bucket and it's in a bay. Yeah. Okay, um, first thing is first, let's head in this direction. A couple things I want to explain. Uh, you know, something else too. I, <laughs> I'm apparently like the world's biggest idiot or I'm just very forgetful, but, um, Remember when I was dogging about the Cheeto codes, um, blue eggs and red feathers? Okay, I was saying they just refilled your total, but they double your total. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll be probably doing that uh, now that I've remembered it. I'll probably be doing that pretty soon. So, yeah. Anyway, okay, so toll, you shoot two eggs and it makes a path across but if you look there's no way to reach those four more eggs even though it says nothing about that and not only can you whoa not only can you avoid the eel but you can get the mumbo token now and the feathers if you think you need them but I don't think I do Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down in here by beat busting our way through it. Now we're inside of this sort of warehousey place. There's a jiggy up there. There are notes. And that's about it. Well, I mean, actually, you know, there's like an extra life up there, but it's really not worth all the trouble you have to go to to get it. IMO. Whoops. Ho -ho. Alright, so what you're going to want to do, first of all, is get the notes so you don't forget them. And that's easily done by heading over here. One, two, three, and four. Okay, now we have to get back over there. And to do that, we're going to have to head on here and walk across again. Try to be careful. You can line up your shot, your shot, your jump right here with the first person mode. Jump up here and jump across. First jigsaw piece of Rusty Bucket Bay gotten. Now, something to remember about this place because there's only one way out. Um, the only way out is down here. Okay, the water, it looks scummy, right? Well, guess what? It will use up your oxygen even if you're on the surface. So be very, very careful. Thankfully, as you will see... Oh. Yeah, your oily water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Um, what you're going to want to do is try to stay above it as much as you can by jumping and feathery flapping. And make your way to one of the few ladders that's around here as quick as you can. Alright, so that's already we got a G out of the way and an explanation about the water. I'm on a roll people. Um, anyway, <laughs> okay so we need to get this uh, Jiggy but like Jiggy, this Ginger, wow. <sighs> I am still messed up from my Super Luigi Galaxy LP. I am kind of frustrated by the results because they were eh, not so hot. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna jump over here and get this Jinjo. Now, Snacker the Shark is back. The jerk. But, anyway, so we got that Jinjo. We need to go quickly here. And we're gonna head for you. See the light indicating the hole there? Oh, I missed it. Darn. Okay, go ahead. There we go. Gonna get, get want to get to the surface quickly and jump over here. Now these guys, common enemy here in Rusty Bucket Bay, 
Um, and of course, there's more eels. That was to be expected, I'm sure. Okay, I'm gonna head over here. Get him out of the way. Hit this switch. Just gonna put an extra honeycomb piece up there for us to get. You might have noticed a flight pad over here. That is what we'll use to get that. Okay. Um. 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 Yes. Wow, that was fairly epic, actually. <laughs> I did not actually think that was gonna go like that. Anyway. All right, back up here. Just so make your way back around to this hole. You want to get as close to it as you can, so you don't have to spend as much time in the water. And we're gonna have to go out that way now. There's a hole in the fence over here, so you're gonna want to come up here. Whoops! Oh no 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 no! no. Oh, you! <sighs> I hate snacker. Anyway, we're gonna. Do what I showed you before, feathery flat, feathery flat, feathery flat. Get on here. Catch your breath. Okay. Now, uh, since we're right in this general vicinity, I'm gonna go ahead and you might see him down there on the corner there. Poor little dolphin being pinned down by that stupid anchor. Well to help him now you can talk to him and he'll tell you a little bit about his problem but all you have to really do is go in here <laughs> and you'll be able to help him alright get out of this nasty water and check this out a hallway full of eels but they're easily dispatched with the old rat a tat rat and here we got a couple of these sailor guys. They pose no real threat. Similar to the guys in Mumbo's Mountain, whose names I still do not know. Those guys there with their hi, hi, I just always called them the Ahoy guys. Very scientific, would you say? Okay, let's free our little friend down there. Ah, I drug that right through him. Ouch. Thanks, guys. I found this earlier. It's yours. Well, thank you. Not sure where he's going because the bay is kind of walled off, but. Oh well. Um, where is. Oh, huh? How did I. Oh, here it is. I was like, where is the way out of here to go home? Anyway, um. Nothing but feathers in the uh, water. So you're gonna wanna try to get out of here as quick as you can because of the scummy water once again. Okay, you're gonna dive down, head for the jiggy. And got it. Okay, now go as fast as you can to get to the ladder. It's easy to miss because of how murky the water is here. But there it is. And we're back up again. Okay. Now it seems like we're covering a lot of the same distance over and over again, but I'm just trying to knock this stuff out section by section now. Now we're gonna have to go over here. Uh, oh, that was close. Okay. And pick up some notes, a Jinjo, and a Mumbo token. Now that green stuff looks like it would hurt, right? It will. Toxic slime. Oh, 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 get up. Call oh, me. Anyway. Jinjo. Second one. Oh no 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 idiot get the heck out of there. No 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 what are you doing? It usually works. I don't know why it didn't. Oh no no no. This is just not going well at all, is it? I'm gonna take a long way around because for some reason Dumb and Dumber here don't want to seem to make that work. And of course I'm blaming them for all my troubles. Anyway, this guy it's gonna come after you if you get too close and then explode. Be careful with him. Okay, just remember to jump outward from there. If you jump straight up, you'll hit your head. Don't go anywhere at all. <laughs> um, and head up here. Now, um, when I hit this switch, I'm only gonna have a certain amount of time to get to the top, go all the way out across there to get that G. So. 
Here we go. Okay. See, not a lot of time. I have to hurry. Anyway, on a side topic, I don't know how many of you might live in Florida, but what the heck is with the weather? Oh, no, 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 get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there, okay. Huh. <laughs> anyway, um, but seriously, what is with the weather? So cold. I mean, like 45 degrees or something last night. What is going on? This is the sunshine state. Seriously, oh wow, I only... I only have two honeycombs. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I need to uh, farm for some health here. What the heck, man? What the heck? Uh, I think there's a couple of enemies around here who, if I don't let them kill me, will garner me a few honeycombs. Huh? I could have sworn there was one closer than that. Oh, there's... Yeah, I think there's one of them. I don't know. Ah, bear with me, folks. Bear with me. And back. Okay. So I got a few honeycombs. And saw something that I need to remember. Yeah, let's see if I can remember. Three. One, two, one, one, one. Woohoo! Jiggy. Okay, so here, the feathers. Oh. Mumbo too. Anyway, yeah, I was wanting to go back to the other side. Anyway, just a little detour, you know. Had to do it. Okay. We'll be covering the rest of the boat here shortly. Do 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 do. Hey, you gotta love the music in this game. And drop down here okay total is four and that's all you can't get it to extend any further than in uh, than it is it's not like the first one we faced it is uh... Oh, phone ringing lovely okay it is actually uh... the one at the beginning is the only one that does that uh, hold on a second okay back stupid telemarketers Let's go in here. Hmm. What do we have? Notes, bees, mumbo token, and a bunch of eels. Hmm. That sounds like a dangerous combination to me. <laughs> uh, let me see. Head up this way. So, how many of you guys are excited? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Anyway, how many of you guys are excited about the Nintendo 3DS? Me, I am quite excited about it. Uh, for a few reasons. The graphics look great. Um, I like the 3D thing. I mean, I hope it doesn't, you know, get old, but at the same time, it, you have the option of, of turning it off, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, mm, but the game selection just looks awesome. What have you got? I mean, you got Star Fox 64 remake, which is a okay with me. One of my favorite games of all time. You also have Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, um, which I think is going to be pretty cool. Uh, I mean, I like Ocarina of Time a lot. I just, you know, the Water Temple. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, so that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, you know, there's lots of things though. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> anyway, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3D. Kind of curious about that one. I mean, 
Is it a uh, remake of the original? Is it something completely different? Who knows? Uh, eggs are a good way of dealing with these guys, quite honestly. Uh, you can also use Wonderling fairly well, but we're gonna need our Wonderling for something else. But yeah, kill them all, get an extra life. Uh, 